Hi, I'm Rebecca and this is my vlog about knitting. Um, it hasn't changed, it's still about knitting. Whatever changes, I'll let you know. It's actually, it's probably also gonna be about paint and uh, a little bit about my life, which is not super cool. Okay, anyway, wow, hi, knitting. Um, I'm Rebecca, I live in Washington State. I have five kids and I have two dogs and a boyfriend. Um, I don't know why I keep bringing up the fact that I have five kids because I don't really talk about them on here. In fact, I don't talk about them at all to anybody. I don't think that most of my friends know any of my kids' names, like maybe one. That's not really, I don't know. My kids are only part of my life, right? I don't spend a lot of time talking about them to anybody, really, because they are, that was the floor. No, I'm not gonna be able to recreate it now. My floor's creaky. Um, I spend a lot of time talking to them about my kids. Um, I don't really enjoy listening to stories about other people's children, and because while I'm sure that your children are lovely to you, and you love them more than anything and think they're the best kids in the world. And so do I. I don't know. I just don't really like kids, actually. So there you go. Um, hold on. Okay. Now that I have offended everybody, if I haven't, you know, just wait your turn. Okay. So knitting. I actually have done a little bit of knitting. We've actually been kind of busy. And so what I talked about last time was my advent plans. Oh, I left one my advent plans and what I want to do is make socks out of my advents but you can't make a sock out of a mini very well so unless you did okay anyway you can't make a sock out of a mini very well so what I want to do is I want to knit the legs and the heels and then knit the foot and toe with the mini that's the plan um but the other plan I don't know if I talked about this last time but my other plan is to take the little heels and cuffs that I make heels and toe heels and cuffs and legs that I make and put them in a separate advent and then pull out a mini from the, my homemade advent and a mini from my or a leg from another bag and then whatever they look like just put them together because it doesn't actually matter there's no rules and your socks don't have to match and they don't have to be color coordinated and they don't have to look good because it doesn't matter I never color coordinate my socks when I put them on um I wear mismatched socks all the time I don't care doesn't bother me my floor is squeaky um cool so last time I showed you I had worked on I had these two pinks neon pink is a neutral it goes with literally everything I dare you to find me a color it does not go with except maybe brown but brown is a neutral and black is a neutral and I think most people agree that brown and black don't go together so your neutral is not necessarily gonna go that's okay I love this I think it could go with that so I was using the Knit Picks uh, Stroll Gradient in the color FOMO. So it's just a bunch of neons. I actually left one of them downstairs. So I have five now, by the way. So I have these two, which I already showed you. And then I knit these two, but I knit them two at a time. So this one is from the Stroll, Stroll Gradient. And this one is just some yarn I had laying around. It's actually a gift from one of my sisters who doesn't knit, but I, it's variegated and yeah, so you can see that I did kind of a shorty thing with the roll top. I have already said on here, I don't like shorties and roll tops. So you might be wondering why then would you make shorties and roll tops? Because I was wondering the same thing. What happened was I cast these on two at a time and anybody who's done two at a time socks, well, maybe not anybody. I don't like casting them on because it's kind of hard and I don't like knitting the cuffs first and then put, joining them together. I don't like doing that because I don't like knitting cuffs. And then I don't like having to like try to finagle the yarn onto the needle. I don't really enjoy that. Okay, so I didn't want to. So I cast these on and I was going to do ribbing and across the first 32 stitches, I accidentally knit across instead of doing ribbing. And at that point I was like, well, I'm only 32 stitches in. It's too late to rip out. So I guess I'm doing rolled socks because honestly, I didn't want to mess up and then have to do the whole cast on over again. And so it just seemed like a smarter thing to do roll cuffs. And that's how that is going to go. Um, the variegated ones are so fun to make, but I'm a little bit more worried about these when it comes to what they're going to look like with my advent. I don't know what the colors are in my advent. It's a homemade advent, but it's a bunch of mystery minis that I got from Yarn Cafe Creations. And I'm just going to have my daughter put those together. So I don't know what they look like. But uh, I feel like this could go south on the sock. But as I already established, I don't care. I don't care that much. Like this, uh, this neon yellow-ish, neon orange, neon macaroni and cheese. 
I think this could work with a variety of colors, so I'm not worried about that. So I have five. It only looks like four, but I have actually done five of these. I actually really enjoy making these just because they go so fast. It's not a whole commitment to a sock. And if you don't like it, you can at some point just... I forgot to put my phone on airplane mode. You can just... Uh, it is what it is. I don't know. Okay. You can just stop and put a heel in. That's fine. Another thing I started, which is actually not that interesting, is I went to the store, went to Joanna, and I picked up some sugar and cream cotton because I want to make dishcloths. I don't know why. I've never used dishcloths before. They don't seem like a worthwhile thing to make. I haven't used one, so I don't know. Maybe they are. But I use wash rags, like just the square cotton wash rags, and then I bleach them a lot because... I am a big fan of toxic chemicals. I love them. I will use them till the day I die. I know a lot of people are into like vinegar and like essential oils and borax and things like that. And I'm really happy for them. And that's fantastic. Live your life. But for me, I need disinfectant. I need my entire house disinfected or there's no point in washing it to me. Right? Okay. So I go heavy and hard on the Lysol and the Pine Sol and the bleach and uh, all of that stuff. But I was like, well, I can do this. But I had to get white because bleach, right? I think we established that. Bleach. So I made um, one of the grandmother's favorite, granny's favorite dishcloths, and I'm gonna show it to you, but I don't make these because the only other time I've tried to make them, I, I don't, I'm not good at it. I'm not good at it. So I'm gonna show you exactly what kind of happened. It is more of a kite shape than it is a square. Because you know why? I'm gonna tell you why, because I don't, I always get into this mindset of it's just a washcloth. It does not matter if it's messed up and it's so easy that you can't mess it up. But so we were watching TV last night, me and my girls and we, I just sat there and knit this dishcloth and I used size fives and it still came out huge, even though all the patterns come for six, call for six and sevens, but I'm a really loose knitter. So I thought it would be fine. I don't really enjoy it. I don't like having to do the knit two togethers and the yarn overs and remembering what you're supposed to do and where you're at, obviously. Obviously, I just don't like it. So I just didn't do it well. So then the next thing I did, we watched Legally Blonde last night, which is so fun. My daughter did a musical. I don't talk about my kids. My daughter did a musical, Legally Blonde, and so we wanted to watch it. Um, the, the musical is better. Um, so then I just cast on 32 stitches and just knit until it looked like it was a square. And see how this one looks more like a square? And I just wung it and it looks more squarish. And I'm going to weave in the ends. But I think that this is good. All my wash rags that I have are like disintegrated now because I use so much bleach on them. I'm probably destroying my septic system with the amount of bleach and sanitizer that I put in my washing machine. But I can't stop. Okay, I'm not going to stop doing that. I know that laundry detergent washes things theoretically, but I just don't trust it enough to get everything, all the germs off. Um, I have obsessive compulsive disorder, actually, in case you didn't notice. <laughs> and everything has to be disinfected because I don't like germs. Yeah, okay. So, that is the knitting I've been doing lately. I haven't really cast, that's so boring, I'm sorry. I haven't really cast on anything difficult. I haven't worked on that Turk Kurdish shawl that I was supposed to be working on. And I explained the reasons for that. I think this summer I'm actually going to be doing a lot more knitting just because... The kids won't be in school and when the kids are in school i actually feel like i have less time to knit because i have to get them up i have to get them ready i have to get them out to the bus stop and then because i'm home by myself i feel like i have to justify my position as the stay at home person so then i end up cleaning a lot more because you know if the kids are home i can just be like no i took care of the kids all day here i'm talking about my kids again i just took care of the kids all day and i kept them from you know danger so that counts as doing something that that validates my reason for being home but when they're not here God, I have to do other things sometimes I feel more guilty um we finished the wall I might put on another coat we're not I'm not 100% sure this is black emerald by Sherwin Williams when it's not in the right lighting on this it looks it gives chalkboard I think and when it's dark it looks black but that's okay. I'm going to figure out the lighting situation. But I did bring the paint can because I wanted to show you guys what it's supposed to look like. And I tested this and the paint can actually works. So this, maybe it works. I tested this earlier. Maybe it works. 
Like, look at that green. It's like the darkest forest green ever. I'm kind of afraid to show you guys. I don't want to. Okay. Oh my gosh. I'm going to stop talking about it, but I am so excited that we painted my bedroom this color. I, well, the one wall. We're doing an accent wall. I know they're on their way out, but I don't care. I don't want to paint my whole bedroom this color. Oh, I'm so excited, guys. I'm going to have to start painting with the marshmallow so you can see what they look like together because it's going to be so fab. Okay. Um, we downed a bunch of trees in our front yard. Uh, we had like 10 trees in our front yard and it's not even a big front yard. So these trees were like all compacted together and blocked any kind of view from the street. And it just made our house look kind of ugly. Believe it or not, having all the, it just didn't look good. So we ripped them all down and now we are in the process of moving all of that wood and branches out of our yard and into the yard waste place. We got a dump trailer. And it actually wasn't expensive. We have 10 trees, but they were kind of like, I, and some of them were smaller and then they weren't huge, but they were kind of tall, but we only paid $1,500 for that, which was crazy. And the only reason I'm telling you that is because we didn't do it for years because we thought it was going to be more like fifteen or $20,000 and not everybody has that kind of money. I, I don't have that kind of money laying around. So we didn't do that. You know how much yarn you could buy for $30,000? You could keep your trees and then just buy $30,000 worth of yarn. And that seems like a much more worthwhile investment, but it was only 1500 so that's not bad. Um, we just didn't pay the extra 1500 to have them haul it away, so now we are stuck doing it. And when I say we, I mean my boyfriend, but I've been a cheerleader, so that counts. That counts, but then I feel guilty, and I can't sit and knit while he's out doing hard labor, so then I have to clean the house, and it's not fun. It's not fun. But we did do that, and it's exciting. Um, I have to go see my doctor today. So that's going to be super exciting. I've been talking about that a lot on my Instagram stories, probably more than anybody cares about, but I've been documenting that, my experiences with that. And so we'll see how that goes. My daughter had her Legally Blonde musical. They've been working on it for months. She's been at school for 12 hours a day, five days a week, practicing for this play basically and the musical. And it was so good. And I highly recommend if you ever get a chance to see a high school production or a Broadway production or whatever of... Legally Blonde Musical, fantastic. The movie's fantastic too, it's one of my favorites. I've seen it like 50 billion times, which is weird because I don't like movies like that, but that's not, that's that's irrelevant. Socks, dishcloths, I don't know what to make. I don't know what to make. Nothing sounds fun or exciting. I'm thinking about just casting on a boxy, maybe. I don't know, tomorrow, or Friday's crazy hat day, so I thought about making my daughter crazy hat. And I didn't know what to do. Maybe the fish, you know, the fish hat. Everybody knows the fish hat. And then I went on Amazon and it was like, I could buy a crazy hat. I could just go buy a crazy hat for a dollar and stick a bunch of googly eyes on it. And it would probably be fine, right? Like I don't have to go through the effort of making a hat that she's only going to wear once. Plus it's June, honestly. Well, it's going to happen in end of May. It's warm outside. So, but it's hat day. My te the kids' teachers, I think my camera's tilted. My kids' teachers have, I'm not even telling you, never mind, because I have talked about my kids way too much for this. Um, hat day. I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to make it. I'm not going to be that parent that goes like, let me talk. That's it. I feel like I was going to tell you guys something else, but I don't have anything else. So there you go. I will see you guys another day at some point. I think I have a couple things going on this week, so I'll probably get my makeup done. And if I get my makeup done, it's like I might as well sit down here for 15 minutes and talk to you guys. Yeah. Okay. So let me know what you're knitting. If you're knitting something interesting or boring, because obviously I'm not above boring things. I just need to get motivated and nothing is really catching my attention lately. So, all right. Tell me what you're doing. Literally, please, please tell me what you're knitting on. I want to see it. Even if I don't like get inspired to do it, I actually like seeing what people are knitting on. And uh, I want to see. I want to know. So I will talk to you guys another day.